music for Dave Brown. Burning down the house in Dave, your house is safe. We don't want you to think that it's not. Uh, we hope you guys had a restful sleep. We're looking forward to working with you today. Talking Head says um, we're doing quite a bit of combustion research up here. So we hope not to burn down either my house at home or anything here on the shuttle, but uh, we are going to be doing uh, a lot of burning and hope to make uh, a lot of contributions to combustion, combustion science today. This is Mission Control Houston now with a live view inside the Space Hub Research Double Module. The Space Hub Module is located in Columbia's payload bay and is a pressurized module accessible to the crew from a tunnel that is attached to the mid-deck of Columbia. Currently, the blue team crew members are on shift, while the red team crew members are scheduled to sleep for now until they are awakened at 2.39 a.m. Central Time to begin their flight day nine. The blue team about halfway through its flight day nine. Payload Commander, Commander Mike Anderson just completed a status check inside the Space Hab module. It's now moved on to the shuttle mid-deck for a status check there. Columbia Space Hab talk for Dave. No need to respond. Just wanted you to know that we are taking in-cabin video. Hi, Laura. Hi, Dave. Good morning. to pick up with uh, softball power down. And we copy, thanks. Houston, Columbia for souls. Go ahead. Ken, as we experienced uh, previously, it's taking quite a while for Lore to command over to science. In their inter interim, I'm wondering if I can go ahead and proceed with door opening. Souls is in science mode. mode. Willie, you have a go to open the door? Here it comes. This is Mission Control Houston. We're seeing downlink from Columbia of the roses in the astroculture growth chamber aboard Columbia. This experiment seeks to determine the effects of growth in microgravity condition on plants and the oils and uh, flavors that they produce. This experiment is from the Wisconsin Center for Space Automation and Robotics in Madison. The object of the experiment is the development uh, perhaps of new cosmetics and food flavors for a commercial company. This experiment has flown uh, on eight previous shuttle flights including one to the Russian space station Mir and on several ISS expeditions. Past experiments have shown that these scents and flavors do indeed change in plants grown in the microgravity environment of low Earth orbit. Science aside, it's certainly one of the prettier experiments aboard STS-107. Columbia traveling at about five miles a second, now moving out over the southern coast of Spain, out over the Mediterranean. This ground track will take it down across uh, northern Africa. Now we're beginning to see some downlink from the MEDEX experiment as this data take is underway. In this ground track, we'll take the orbiter down uh, over northern Africa, roughly paralleling the Mediterranean coast, then uh, moving down across Libya across the Sudan and then out across the Red Sea. We'll just 
across the base of the Horn of Africa before moving out over the Indian Ocean. Again, we're seeing uh, the FAST experiment, the facility for absorption and surface tension, uh, coming down on NASA television. This downlink from Columbia is primarily for science investigators working with this experiment from the European Space Agency. The experiment's designed to measure the response of surface tension to control changes in the surface area of bubbles, like the one you see on the end of the tube, about the middle of your screen, or from droplets. These measurements can be done much more accurately and without the interference of gravity in the microgravity environment of low Earth orbit. These operations are almost completely uh, automated and require very little crew interface. I can relay up to you that Hitchhiker copied all those words, and they appreciate that very much. And there's a few other names uh, that uh, are probably a longer list than I can remember right now, but we appreciate all the efforts from the folks there at Goddard and, uh, and also just how well the uh, SOLS and MEDEX payloads have been working and integrated with the orbiter, and we really appreciate it. Rick, I'm sure they're all listening, and we have to agree it takes a lot of people working very hard to put something this complex together. And, Rick, one more word from Hitchhiker. Uh, they appreciate all your efforts because uh, they feel like that's what's making it a success. Well, we appreciate it, and uh, it's the whole team working together, which uh, I think is probably one of the most fun parts of the whole deal. So uh, thanks a bunch, and uh, they'll be happy to know that uh, SOLS is still in science mode. And Rick, we copy. And the Columbia Space Lab Park for the module. We see you. Welcome aboard, Brad. We are happy to have you here, very much like we've always trained with you guys. And we are happy to be watching you. NKC, we would like you to proceed to step 45 to end this test. Copy, step 45, end test. Floating in the center of your screen is Israeli payload specialist Elon Ramon. And uh, just out of the screen uh, to the right corner, and now coming into view, is the commander, Rick Husband. In the back corner in the white shirt is mission specialist Kopna Chala. She's working with a softball experiment, creating some uh, flame balls in space.
You can see another view here of uh, Kopnachala. Again, working with the combustion module there in that corner, working on the second of three experiments that are going to be done in the combustion module during the 107 mission. During an earlier run today, Chala was the first person to ever uh, initiate a methane flame ball in space, the crew having uh, quite a few first uh, with this experiment. They set a new record for uh, how long a flame ball could burn of 1,200 seconds the day before yesterday with Dave Brown. He also had the uh, lowest powered flame ball ever recorded, just about a half of a watt. Commander of the mission, Rick Husband, uh, seen here in your center of your screen. Husband, a member of the red team. Husband spent his day uh, doing various maneuvers with the Space Shuttle Columbia, maneuvering it into a free drift position for the softball experiment so that uh, none of the reaction control system jets would fire while the softball experiment was going on. He also replayed uh, some of the MEDEX data that had been taken by the blue team earlier in the day. He then maneuvered the uh, orbiter into position to get some data for the shuttle ozone limb sounding experiment which is looking at a new instrument for measuring ozone in the Earth's upper atmosphere. The red team uh, seen working here, coming toward the end of their day in space, their ninth day in space. In about an hour, they're scheduled to do a handover with the blue team and the blue team will be taking over to do uh, its scientific research for the evening. Commander Rick Husband now floating next to Mission Specialist Chala. Chala working with the softball experiment and the combustion module. Husband's taking some pictures of his uh, crewmates at work. This is Mission Control Houston. Again, we were looking at video of the uh, six student experiments in the Space Hab Research Double Module. Those experiments being done by students in six countries. The orb weave spiders being done by the students in Australia examining how uh, spider webs are produced as well as the mechanical properties of those web filaments. They'll be getting those experiments back and they'll be able to take a look at how the spiders uh, did in microgravity and also take a look at how their webs looked. The uh, Chinese silkworm experiment was going to be looking at uh, the silkworm larvae and pupae in adults as well as the production of silk and the cocoons that are spun. You could see the uh, silkworms moving around in that experiment. The Israeli student experiment Students are examining the production and geometry of these crystalline fibers and microgravity in order to better understand their formation on Earth. The cobalt chloride is the one in blue, and you can see it's uh, grown uh, quite a bit in the last 40 minutes, starting out as just a little blue ball and uh, developing all these crystalline fibers in just the course of 40 minutes. Students in Israel are doing the same experiment at the same time, and when they get their experiment back from 107, they'll be able to compare the results of the two experiments. Israeli students have noticed uh, quite a bit of differences between their chemical garden aboard 107 and the chemical garden they have growing in Israel. And they're looking forward to uh, getting it back and uh, looking at it more carefully. In this uh, portion of the chemical garden that showed the calcium chloride, you can see these uh, two white balls. They've also been growing for 40 minutes, but haven't grown uh, nearly as fast as the cobalt chloride. Again, the students will be getting this experiment back uh, when 107 lands and have a chance to compare it with the experiment they have going on the ground.
The Japanese still students are still waiting for the Madaka fish embryos to hatch. There is a small snail that you can see moving around. It's a black object. You might see it on occasion moving uh, through the experiment, but they are still waiting for their uh, fish embryos to hatch. In the Lichtenstein experiment, you can see that the bees have uh, adapted very well to microgravity and continuing to bore through the wood as they would uh, on Earth. And when the Lichtenstein students uh, get this experiment back, they'll be able to take a look at it and compare it to uh, similar experiments that they're doing here on Earth to see uh, how the carpenter bee is adapted to microgravity. Looking at the ant colony, the United States experiment it's done by uh, students in Syracuse, New York. The ants have adapted very well to microgravity. They've been uh, tunneling uh, since the first day they got here in space, and you can see all the various tunnels that they have done. The tunnel that they're they are tunneling uh, through this gel that's also serving as their uh, food and water.